This is a pretty sick, look at this, like an Air Force jacket, but it has cargo pockets all throughout. Like a pocket right there, pocket right there, zipper pockets. It's pretty sick. All black. Oh, you can actually take it off and make it as a vest. Damn. If you guys know Supreme actually just did the Stone Island vest. Maybe this is a cop. Has like the squares woven in. Eh, how much do they want for it? It really depends. They want $8. Mm. I guess we'll put this in the maybe pile. Then we got an essential little Nike zip jacket. New age though, screen print, little embroidery. This multicolored vintage. It's unfortunately, it's this Firestone Country Club. Nice little color blocking though. I usually don't cop women's pieces, but this is so nice. You have the Lauren Ralph Lauren like Sherpa with the all throughout, just so nice. Damn, look at this denim trench coat and like this acid wash with the big buttons. Sportswear. It's so sick. I wish like we could wear this, but this is like a New York thing for sure. Damn, I thought this was a Carhartt. Very similar. Corner store. Same like style and like everything. So I ended up grabbing those two pieces. I'm kind of curious if I take the Lauren Ralph Lauren to Uptown Cheapskate, how much they would give me, or if I find something better, I can use it as a trade bait. So let's go over there and see what we can do. So far, no clothes. I just went through that whole rack, nothing good. Air Force mids, Timberland boots. Got the old school Polo Ralph Lauren with the horses all over in the pastel pink. 18 bucks, not bad. Never seen these kind of camo pants before. Look at these. Kind of crazy, but nice. They're like cargos. I've never heard of this brand though. Alston. They're a 34 32. Never heard of it. Kind of sick though. And I just saw this on the corner of my eye. Got a Burberry. What size is it? It's a XL. It probably fits about a large. Probably gonna pick this up. Nice, nice little find. See if there's any more Burberry. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to see if I can get some kind of store credit with the Lauren that I got. A women's Ralph Lauren. Oh my God, these this whole entire thing is nothing but Ralph Lauren. Like when I say nothing but Ralph Lauren, like I thought this was a display. Look, it's all Ralph Lauren. What's up, what's up, how are you? Look how crazy this is. Not bad, really nice duffel bag. And some more Gucci shoes here, we have some high tops. And then there's a little patch that goes, that's why they have those little rivets. Some Balenciagas still. Balenciagas. Galepsi. Damn, look at these. Ralph Simmons. With the chains. Kind of crazy. They do have the Polo Ralph Lauren. Little bear. The Polo. For $14. It's actually not bad at all. It is the newer one. So I'll probably pass up on it though. But still not bad of a deal. So far, they offered me uh, $15 for that Lauren, so I'm gonna use the 15 to, to put towards the Burberry and cop the Burberry. They have this staple pigeon long sleeve, with a little fading like to the red. Kind of sick. So obviously, you guys know yellow is my favorite color. I think I'm gonna get these for personal. The Adidas Hue, they're only 15 bucks. They're a little bit dirty, but I feel like I can easily throw them in the wash and they'll look brand new. For 15 bucks, you really can't go wrong. If anything, I'll sell them for 20 bucks. We got Rick Owens, $50. Geo baskets. Pretty sure they're fake though. For 50 bucks. If they're real, then that's a steal of a century, but I'm gonna look them up and see. Alright, here's kind of a dead giveaway. Look at the stitching on that. And look at the stitching on that. So these are fake. Even for 50 bucks, I guess it's not a bad deal if maybe you want to wear them. I wear sandals, so I'm not going to wear them. I'm going to leave them in case if one of you guys watch and maybe you want to cop them. 50 bucks. These are pretty cool too. You have the Adidas collab with Jeremy Scott. 70 bucks though. 
Damn, someone's size 12 must have dropped off because that's my size and look at these yellow Converse. Now granted, I don't wear Converse. I would definitely wear those Adidas way more and for the same price, I'll probably just get the Adidas. But kind of nice for it. All right, so I ended up trading that Lauren for $15 store credit and I actually had a $5 off. So basically I just got $20 store credit. I got the Burberry as well as the yellow shoes. The yellow shoes have a little stains, but I feel like I can easily just throw them in the wash and get them as brand as new. And for literally like $10, you really can't complain. So today in Fort Lauderdale, it's like 70 degrees out and I was craving a beer. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I came to Funky Buddha, which is actually a local brewery. Uh, they blew up pretty decently like now they're selling bottles and glasses so let's quickly get a beer one thing i like about this place is look at the crazy beers they have like french toast double brown ale um sweet potato casserole uh what's some other ones that i see pineapple beach So I want something refreshing. I usually drink like stouts and porters though. This is the best beer on the menu. The El Camino Haze? Yep. Okay. It's extremely refreshing. And not too light? It's not like a lager, is it? No, it's an IPA. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I'll it's, try like a, it's like a juicy IPA. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with that then. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll just close out that. So I got the El Camino Haze. It is a IPA brewed with flake oats, dried hop citrus. He says it's very refreshing. So that's exactly what we got. It's kind of cool they have little outside here so you could sit over there at the tables i think that's for like if you want to order food and then they have some tables over here some benches if like people want to hang out like let's say it's raining you can easily go over there because it's under but it is such a beautiful day out guys enjoying this beer this is why i would rather make enough just to pay my bills then be super successful and work a nine to five because because it's 1 45 on a friday afternoon and i'm sitting here drinking a beer while other people are like can't wait till they clock out on like friday so that way their weekend starts and i can just literally stop as i'm working get a beer and just relax so hey cheers to everybody oh man that's good it is a little bit bitter because it's an ipa but um you guys can see how cloudy it is through. That's just the IPA-ness, but it is honestly really refreshing. Very citrusy also. Well, almost finished with the beer now. And I think I decided I'm gonna go to a gun shop. And I don't know if I'm allowed to film it or not. Um, obviously I've said on a video that I do carry guns and I do have guns. I've been looking at a subcompact, which is gonna be a very small one, uh, Glock 43, I believe. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna see if they let me film. If they let me film, then I will show you guys. If not, then I'm just gonna probably cut and get probably something to eat. Um, but let's head to the gun shop. I actually bought my Glock 19 at this store. Let's check out what they got. 19, that's what I have right now, or that I recently bought. And I'm looking at the 43, which is this. So this would be a sump compact, and that'd be a compact. Am I allowed to film? Can I film if you want? Yeah. Oh, okay, appreciate it. So this is the regular 43 and this would be the 43X. So I guess the difference he said is that this holds 10 versus this. What is the regular 43 hold? Five, eight? Six. Six? Okay. With the, with the extender. But that's just uh, a grip extender. Yeah. You can get plus ones, plus twos. Yeah, of course. But now they, so they basically, the grip is almost the same size now. Yeah. On the newer model, but. They're just some kind of... 10. Oh, wow. And I love how it's single, too. And then this, this little guy... Just because it's so thin. Well, I guess actually... Yeah, I guess it's about the same. Mm -hmm. And then he would point out this would be like their competitor SIG. This is the P365. You can see the difference between the Glock and the SIG. How much shorter. Now this has an extender, I, th I believe. So, and then they also have the in the waistband holster, which is perfect. This is the same one I have for my 19, also. So now it's kind of the decision the X versus the regular. I'm kind of leaning towards the X just because you know 10 rounds versus the six or so, and it almost feels lighter as well than the regular 43. All right, so I told him I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I totally, actually, I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't know that there was a Glock 43X. So I'm gonna do a little bit more re research. I'm gonna do a comparison 
on the 43X versus the regular 43. Now I knew that I did want a 43 versus the 26, and now I'm speaking gun terminology, so if you guys aren't familiar with guns, you can just kind of skip on. Now with the 26, the 26 is a double stack, the 43 is a single stack, meaning the single stack is gonna be obviously a little bit thinner than the double stack. So I didn't want to get the 26, so it's either the 43 or the 43X. Now the difference is $60, so I'm thinking kind of leaning towards the 43X just because it's 10 rounds versus six rounds. Obviously that extra four rounds could be, you know, life or death situation. And for an extra $60, it's not bad. Plus the gun does look a lot nicer. It has that silver slide with the black bottom. So, eh. But now I'm kind of hungry. Let's go get some food. Chipotle. So I get white rice, black beans, chicken, medium salsa, sour cream, and cheese. And then I shake it all up in a bowl guac on the side and what I do is I use the chip and kind of eat it as like a dip well first I get a little bit of guac then I get a little bit of this and then mm, mm, mm. so good oh man I'm so full from Chipotle but I think I'm gonna end today's video here Make sure you guys comment down below if you guys are like familiar with Glocks or anything. If I should get the 43 or if I should get the 43X, I'm probably gonna stick to Glock just because Glock is very reliable. I don't really want to go to the SIG, even though the SIG 365 was nice, had uh, 10 rounds. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna do some more research. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog at 8 p.m. And don't forget, guys, let's get.